Well, hey there, guys. Welcome back to our channel, and it's a new year. Happy 2023. And I'm at my doctor's appointment, 30 weeks pregnant, and barely can breathe. Getting, I told Frederick this morning, I was like, I think I'm in my descent. <laughs> Like we're, we're winding down. I have a couple more. That, that, but I. A couple more months to go. Like third baby. So any moms out there with two or more kids, three or more kids. Yeah, give me all your wisdom. Anyways, quick little checkup to check on the baby today. And then next week I start my every week appointments because you already right know at 35 and above <laughs> you considered old ladies <laughs> that's not funny but i think it's funny because i've had all my babies 35 and over anyways let's go in oh my gosh what i was saying is okay here's the belly here we go here we go i am wearing maternity jeans today i only bought two pairs um, one at Old Navy and one at, oh, H&M. Honestly, cannot believe that it's almost over. This pregnancy has flown by. Here, I'm gonna go to this doctor's appointment though, and then we'll head back. We'll check on Frederick and see what he's doing at home, because right now he's with the kids while he's working. So, he's got it though, guys. He's He's got it. So I just let the doctor know that I actually had the big C a couple of weeks ago, well last week when my husband had it and then I got it while pregnant and so they now are telling me that I have to be on baby aspirin and why I didn't call them. Okay, appointment done. We're all good. Apparently they said that the aspirin, so when you have COVID and you're pregnant, that there's no harm to the baby, but your placenta does thin out. So the aspirin brings in some blood. I'm not a doctor y'all, I don't know, that's what she said. Anyways, I gotta do a Marshall's return and then I am headed back home. Hey, we'll see you in here. What's happening in there? Fucky, what are you doing? I'm so sweet in here. Wow. Well, if you don't have toys, and you have a bunch of plastic bags, this will keep them entertained for a while. Look at that. So guys, we just got done with one of our tasks that our kids seem to love so much is helping out with groceries. You bring the groceries in, for some reason they really love to take them out of the bag. And that gives them joy and that puts them in the best mood of all time. So. Sometimes you don't need the greatest thing to make your kids happy, you just need something. So, and let them feel like they're involved. And this is how they feel involved. Just throwing uh, the plastic bags up in the air after they're done taking the stuff out of it. So, and we all know when kids help, they don't really help. They don't really help at all, but they think they're helping. But that's all of it. Now here's the deal. I discovered that we're still in this H-E-B kick. If you haven't done it, H-E-B has the best order pickup system in the game and if you didn't know they also give you the biggest peppers in the game as well look at these things these are huge look at that the biggest sweet peppers of all time we call these sweet peppers what are these called green peppers nah we call it sweet peppers guys i'm trying to film a video y'all are so loud right now look at y'all y'all so loud okay there we go see they're still entertained guys but anyway, peppers for the win at H-E-B. Y'all go and get it. H-E-B for the win. Right? Everybody say H-E-B. H-E-B! Check it out. Two pounds of wings. Drummies. Eight dollars, guys. That's kind of unheard of. This is unheard of. Now, they can work on their egg prices, though, because their egg's still expensive. We got to talk about it. We moved from a pandemic to egg-demic. And it's real, y'all. Have you seen the price of eggs right now? You haven't seen or heard about eggs? You must have been under a rock, but the price of eggs are ridiculous. Comment below if y'all agree that we need the price of eggs to go back down because 
Pay him like no, no more brown eggs. <laughs> yeah. yeah, seriously. We get, you can't, eggs is eggs is a commodity Arr! now. It's up there with gold and the dollar and the Japanese yen. Yeah. It's up there. You got eggs? If you have eggs, you're rich. You're blessed. You probably have a farm. <laughs> yeah, seriously, we're about to go see how much it costs to get some chickens and build a barn. Okay, it's lunchtime around here, and you know, it's salmon bowl time again. So this time, I am air frying this. Yes, ma'am. You're doing what? Yeah, go girl, go, 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 go. So at the bowl, these are the easiest rices from Trader Joe's. <laughs> We got cucumbers, seaweed, sriracha, soy sauce, and mayo. That's all you need. It is lunch in the... <laughs> what am I even saying, guys? My brain is like just scrambled. We are in the third trimester and even trying to vlog, I'm like, what, what are we, what, are, who, what? What are we talking about? But, we back, we back, I'm making a salmon bowl. Fedrick's over there working. And it's about five days later from the earlier one of my appointment. So I'm actually about to go to another appointment tomorrow, but we're cruising, y'all. We are cruising in this and just getting things prepared. Um, we also are a family that likes to keep things decluttered and released. So do I have any baby things? No. <laughs> so I am making my list, checking it twice. Oh, oh, is that somebody back there that I know? Oh, okay, okay, glasses season. It's distinguished look day. What is this? It's distinguished Mondays. I know, Good you job. have, I haven't even like put so, on my clothes, you got know. Sophisticated Mondays, let's go. Suffic sophisticated tonight. Got my AirPods, take my AirPods out. I like it though. What's happening, what I miss? A little Warby Parker action. Y'all have to, have to go in the cave, do He's, some work and come back out for some air and some sunlight. Again, I, don't, I still don't understand how you work here. She locked me in there and I can't get out. She's like, you can't get out till you do your work. That's something you know, I've never parents said. Be like, you stay here until you finish your homework. That's what I had to do inside there. Well, when he closes the door, I know it's, it's not so talking time. No, it's not. It's not. A, it's not. What you call it? The lunch break room? It's not lunch break. This, room. Yeah, this right here is the common grounds, guys. This yeah. is the break room. So if Patrick is if, in here, if I come in here for a snack, that... <laughs> for a drink of water, please believe Jacqueline's gonna have five stories lined up waiting to talk to me about I'm like I gotta get back to me yeah, I'm like please don't go I gotta talk to you I gotta talk to you so I gotta do the introverted walkway if you work at home stay at home parent work from home and stay at home parent just like this introverted walkway <laughs> just yeah okay wow you already know if you're an extrovert this is like this hey. is hard for us y'all that was we smooth, need communication though. I just saved a lot of people Give a lot of people an exit strategy that they, they did not know about until today. Y'all use that because it works every time. Use it. Because when you walk away, you just moonwalk. You moonwalk away and then you just find a curve and you slide your body around like that. That's not awkward. Disappear. See you right there. Oh, here we go. Well, you do, do, do what you gotta do to get out of this conversation. I'll go find my friend somewhere else. So, okay. I'm gonna get one of these oranges. Breaking news, guys. We are filming right now for the first time ever. Jacqueline is going to make me her this salmon bowl that she eats every single day. I don't. She eats this. Uh, she would eat the salmon bowl every day if she had salmon I would. to eat. So you would eat it every day. I the only thing that stops her is when there's no more salmon, salmon in the fridge. But I have never actually had this salmon bowl. This was a. This was a, This was inspired by the TikTok. This was a TikTok viral salmon bowl. So Y'all don't know I about it. I've been making the salmon okay. bowl before it went viral on TikTok. Apparently, she's been making the <laughs> salmon bowl before it went viral on TikTok, guys. Like one girl decided. Okay. 
That's what she said. Oh. Anyway, anyway, today is the day that I try it. She's gonna make it for me. I graciously asked her if I could try it. She said, I'll make you one. We don't know if I'm gonna like it, but we are about to see it. I'm gonna let y'all know how this thing tastes. Okay, I've got everything. First of all, I can't believe he's trying this bowl, but I've got everything situated. Now we're just gonna mix it. Is that how you do it? You mix it. Now we mix it. Okay. And then I don't think he's gonna try the no, seaweed. No, I'm going all in, all in. Seaweed, you know how, in the islands we have plenty of that on the beach. This is not the plenty same. Plenty of that on the beach. <laughs> <laughs> got plenty of seaweed. Not the same. Hey, I know seaweed. Hi, Zane. Okay. I'm hungry. <laughs> your, your fruits are you terrible. already ate, but you can definitely try this salmon bowl. Okay. I don't, okay. I'm not doing that yet. No, you gotta put it in the, we'll try it just by itself first. Okay. Okay, here we go. <laughs> I need more heat though. Oh, you do? More, more sriracha? Heat. I went a little low on it for you. Yeah, it's like a, almost like an ahi tuna bowl, I feel like. No. Like an ahi tuna bowl. Mixed with grits and tuna. If you're from the islands of the Bahamas, you know what grits and tuna is. Wow, okay. I like it, I like it. Like, it. like you would eat it again. Yeah, not every day like you, but I'll, I'll eat it again, yeah. Okay, like now that. you gotta try it with the seaweed. Oh, in the seaweed, like a little sushi wrap. Yeah. Not bad. Good morning, guys. We're at Living Spaces. Looking what at the spaces <laughs> that they have set up. Looking, looking for furniture. We're starting the hunt for furniture. Yeah. Mm. So, hi, good morning. Good, good, good. <laughs> Uh, not yet. Just no, looking no. to see what all y'all have. Thank you. Uh, thank you. Hi, guys. Hi. Say hi. Say hi. <laughs> We're going to start in the baby yes. furniture. Hi. Baby I don't think they have much here. I thought they did, but. So, we'll be continuing to search somewhere else. Continuing to search. They're really helpful at living spaces. They're, They're great. So also, we just found out living spaces, not only, well, we already knew. They have a kid's area if you've never been yeah. here. Also just found out they got free lattes. And coffee. <laughs> that doesn't apply to us or me. They got oh, you. <laughs> Guys, it's an all black day. Just call me the Black Panther. <laughs> I've got my um Target maternity t-shirts that I pretty much live in every day. And I got this oldie but goodie H&M leather. Oh my gosh, it's a mirror, I didn't even realize. Pretty dirty. Ew. So dirty. And then the Amazon leggings. And then Patrick's favorite. Uggs. Uggs. Short for ugly. He hates these with a passion. Short for ugly. I'm not trying to be like the girlies in the Uggs. I literally got them so I can wear my leggings. And you shouldn't wear Uggs if you're not in Colorado or someplace that it snows all it the snowed time. It snowed last night here in Dallas, Texas. So Uggs should only be used in <laughs> high snowy areas. High well, high I love them. We all yeah, know go, go that stay, the Ugg go. Ultra Mini has been sold out across America, but we found, I found the black ones. Like I, I was torn between the chest and the black, and then I was like, I just want to get them. Like I've had the chest and I've done that. Let me try some black, you know. Anyways, Frederick literally despises. De Spices Uggs. <laughs> he actually can't barely look at me today, but. I can only look from the uh, calf up. Calf up! Pregnancy pillow, just in case you wanted to know. <laughs> and also, this is where the baby will be for the first six weeks. What, what are you doing? Laying on the floor. Oh, yeah. So we're gonna have Yo, baby, right there. And then, we don't have to put our baby in a closet this year. <laughs> it's, 
If you've been following along for a while, you already know, we made the closet nursery work. And, um, you know, we're still, you know, anything can happen. We don't know if we're gonna be here long term, where we're gonna be. Um, that hasn't changed. That hasn't changed. Some things don't change. Some things, some things don't change. <laughs> Tell us about that, Frederick. Well, what we're saying is, Again, if you followed us, you already know we've moved a thousand times. Oh, yeah. That's just the Lord's plan for our life right now. I know. And when it comes to moving, too, when you're moving, you, you feel like you may not be somewhere long. It's hard to, like, really buy, like, the big furniture. Yeah. All the things to, like, super decorate a space when it may yes. not work in the next <laughs> space. So, so we're kind of in that, like, that middle ground, you know, like. We're kind of in that middle should ground. Should we? Should we not? Should we buy it? Like, as long not? as you have crib. Yeah. Y'all, these kids. And they're loud, too. They've been fighting like nobody's business. This is real talk. And this is another reason why we can't live in an apartment any long. Our kids are too loud, and so we have banned ourselves from apartment life. <laughs> we have because, banned our, yes. Because we know it, it'll only be long, it won't be long before we get written up and written up again and asked to leave because our kids we are just too would. loud. I gotta go check on them because they're okay, just. Okay, you go check on them. Lying. What we're saying is, you know, we're praying this year, wondering what's what's gonna happen. Like, we don't mind staying here. God has blessed us with this place. Um, but then just kind of the unknown. Like, is it time to go somewhere else? Is it time to buy? You know, if you know about that life, comment below. But either way, we're gonna set up a little situation, a little, little nursery situation in this room. <laughs> Future baby's yes. room slash office slash studio slash this room's big enough yes, for everything. everything. I'm gonna talk real fast, but this actually hurts. <laughs> Positioning well, myself like you're this. actually gonna get out of this position. I don't think I will. Do you need help? No, I'm an athlete. I don't need no help. Do you need my assistance? No. no, I got this. I got this. Okay. So, this little fire truck over here. This is right now, it's like our hold all. Be all of everything, and Frederick works. I'll turn it around so you can see where he works. So I think this corner will be where you know we get situated. Oh. Real tall. I was too tall for this You're show. Too tall for this video. Get back where I was. Also, on Lord. <laughs> still not looking at it, guys. I'm still not looking at it. Thirty-two I'm week why? Yeah, that's true. You really. It's out there now. You're out there. Show them how much you're out there. Legit. You can't really see because you know, it's slimming. But it's... What do we think, guys? Because we're going to wrap this up. But. Well, hold on. I got to give you all the size comparison. What is happening? No, we're just making a There's no business like baby business. I know there's nothing like it. No, no. Not Can you see that? No, well, it's bigger. Two months to go. No, even bigger. Bigger than a basketball. See that? Bump is wow. bigger. I don't know if y'all can even see this. What do you guys think? Boy or girl. Is. And coming next week, I think it's going to be the gender reveal. What? Oh. Inside the phone? Comment below if y'all think the new baby's going to be an athlete or not. <laughs> we really want to know. That's the setup. We'll get a little nursery tour soon. Until then, guys, I am glad you have joined us on this hodgepodge. <laughs> Who knows what's going to be in this video vlog? We've got a lot coming up for you guys in February. We're going to be oh, back. Are you showing him our, our unorganized uh, that, storage area? That is actually real life. That's our <laughs> like unorganized storage area. Guys. Everybody has one of those closets. Like, yeah, that, that, we didn't get to that yet. So, thank you guys for watching. If you're yes. new here, don't forget to subscribe, and we will see Hit you next video. Hit that subscribe video. button, thumbs up, like it, do all that cool stuff. We're going to catch y'all at the next video. Yeah, we are, because there's no business like show business. And, and maybe in the next video, <laughs> Jackson won't be wearing these other jeans anymore. <laughs> I'm actually obsessed, Frederick. I'm so obsessed, Frederick. Every day, you will pet them. <laughs> oh! Oh, my gosh. That's what it shouldn't happen.